As part of the preliminary cockpit preparation, you have to check that the full face oxygen masks are stowed in their respective boxes and the portable oxygen equipment is in its place. During the external inspection, only two items related to the oxygen system have to be checked. The oxygen bay should be closed. The green oxygen discharge overpressure disc should be present. A missing disc indicates an overpressure of the crew oxygen system. The aircraft has just been electrically powered. The oxy indication is amber indicating that the crew supply push button switch on the oxygen panel is in the off position. Note, after a long stop, the amber regu low pressure indication may be also displayed. We have pressed the crew supply push button switch for you. Make sure that the oxy indication has turned white indicating that the oxygen is available. Also check that the high pressure indication pressure in the bottle before it is regulated is also displayed in green. If the high pressure indication below 1500 psi is green and half boxed amber, you have to refer to the FCOM LIM35 section and look at the minimum flight crew oxygen chart to check if the remaining oxygen quantity is sufficient for the flight. If the high pressure indication drops below a threshold, which depends on the version, an ECAM advisory will be triggered and you should refer to your QRH to find the recommended action to do. If the high pressure indication continues to drop, it will turn to amber when below a threshold which depends on the version. If, with the crew supply push button switch on, the amber regal low pressure message is displayed, it indicates a low pressure in the circuit, supplying the crew oxygen mask storage boxes. In order to test an oxygen mask, including its mic, check that. The loudspeaker controls located on the glare shield are set to an appropriate level, and the interphone reception knob on the audio control panel is selected and adjusted, and the interphone radio switch is set to the interphone position. Note, as soon as the oxygen mask is unstowed, its hot mic has priority over the normal interphone. You can test a cockpit oxygen mask without removing it from its storage box. Test the flow of oxygen by pressing the test and reset control. Notice that the blinker flow meter turns yellow, meaning that oxygen is flowing, and then, after a short time, goes black due to the tightness of the storage box. Next, in order to test the emergency oxygen pressure, you must press and hold the test and reset control and the emergency pressure selector simultaneously. Press and hold the test and reset control in the down position. And press the emergency pressure selector. The yellow flow indicator shows us that oxygen is flowing continuously and remains on as long as the emergency pressure selector is pressed. You can hear the oxygen flow through the loudspeakers. The final check of the mask is to verify that, when released, the test and reset button returns to the up position and the supply selector is on the 100% oxygen position. And then, the blinker stays black when the emergency pressure selector is pressed again. Suppose you are now in flight, and a cabin depressurization occurs. 
In order to retrieve your oxygen mask from its container, you must squeeze the red grips. Click on either of the red grips to remove the mask. To put the mask on, maintain the red grips squeezed, fit the mask over your face and release the red grips to secure the fit. The harness deflates, fitting the mask tightly. Click on the video window to look at the oxygen mask utilization. The mask assembly and the stowage box are installed adjacent to each crew member seat. The stowage box which contains the mask also controls the flow of oxygen when the mask is pulled out of the box. To use the mask, squeeze the red clips which will inflate the mask harness. Releasing the red clips will stop oxygen flow to the harness and vent the oxygen remaining in the harness to the atmosphere. Oxygen flow is indicated by the blinker showing yellow and an oxy on flag which appears on the left door when closed. The mask regulator provides either normal or pure oxygen by means of a normal 100% selector. In the normal position, the user breathes a mixture of cabin air and oxygen. When the selector is in the 100% position, the user will breathe pure oxygen. When the emergency rotation knob is rotated and the normal 100% selector is in the 100% position, the mask regulator supplies pure oxygen at a permanent positive pressure. To take the mask off, the harness has to be inflated. This is done by operating the red clips. Restowing the mask. Proper stowing of the mask is essential for quick and efficient donning of the mask. Open the stowage box flap doors and position the flexible hose correctly. Engage the mask assembly, regulator on top. Close the left flap door carefully while pushing the reset test slider to retract the oxy on flag. At the end of the restowing operation, do the in situ testing. In situ testing. Push the reset test slider. The blinker turns yellow and goes black again, showing that the regulator is leak tight. Press the harness inflation control. The blinker turns yellow and goes black again, showing that the harness is leak tight. The on-demand system is tested by pressing the emergency rotation knob. The microphone is tested by activating the loudspeakers, the interphone, and by pressing the emergency rotation knob. When the previous tests are completed, Make sure that the normal 100% selector is locked in the 100% position and the reset test slider returns to the up position. Let's assume you have used the mask and restored it. You observe a white oxy on flag. Press the test and reset control. Notice that the Oxyon flag has disappeared, meaning that the mask oxygen supply is stopped. The oxygen microphone is de-energized, and the oxygen flow is stopped. The mask is now reset. Let's now go to the cabin. When the mask manual on guarded push button, located on the oxygen panel, is in the auto position, the passenger oxygen masks automatically deploy if the cabin altitude exceeds 14,000 feet. Note, the mask manual on push button can also be used to deploy the passenger oxygen masks manually. On the oxygen panel, the passenger system on white light comes on, indicating that the control of the oxygen mask doors is activated. So, the masks fall down by gravity. Oxygen generation starts when the mask is pulled down towards the passenger seat. 
there are approximately 13, 15 or 22 minutes of oxygen available, depending on the generator size. Note. For a standard generator, it will be approximately 15 minutes.